In an interview with InStyle on November 24th of 2020, former President Barack Obama answers the question, what are the most badass qualities of his wife Michelle and his daughters Malia and Sasha? Barack goes on to say that he admires Michelle's ability for public speaking, Sasha's confidence, and Malia's joy for life. Barack and Michelle's lives have been very public on the news and social media since Barack took office. They're both active on Twitter and Instagram, but the private lives of Sasha and Malia have always been shielded from the public eye, and they have never had public profiles on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter like every other kid. Malia and Sasha were only 10 and 7 years old when their father was elected president, which means that they spent basically all their teenage years in the White House for the entire world to see. As they grew, the Obama sisters became known for their brilliant academic background, their passion for justice, and also their good behavior. But even with all of the effort that Michelle and Barack have put into keeping their daughters away from drama and controversy, it hasn't always worked. There have been several times when Sasha and Malia have made the headlines, not only when they were in the White House, but even now. On November 25th this year, Sasha trended on Twitter for a viral TikTok in which she is seen mouthing the N-word. Malia has also been talked about frequently for her smoking, underage drinking, and recently for her relationship with her millionaire boyfriend, Rory Farquharson. So who really are Malia and Sasha, who Barack just described as buoyant and badass? What lurks behind their apparently spotless behavior? Stick around, because we're about to spill the tea. We all know that the Obamas have always tried to raise their girls in the most normal way that they could. Even when they lived at the White House, they still needed to make their beds, clean their rooms, and do their laundry. And they were given a weekly allowance of just one dollar. In 2016, youngest daughter Sasha, who was 15 at the time, even got a summer job like most kids her age. She worked at a seafood restaurant under her full name, Natasha, and was in charge of the takeout window. Like a normal teenager, right? Well, the only difference was that she was supervised at all times by six Secret Service agents that would wait for her in an SUV or on the takeout benches. Malia, on the other hand, is the oldest daughter of the family, so she was the first one to go through the rebellious teenage years. 2016 was a particularly fun year for her, because she was taking a gap year after high school and before enrolling at Harvard. In July 2016, Malia was spotted partying at Lollapalooza with her friends, and witnesses claimed that she was smoking, quote, something hand-rolled that she and her friends were passing around. At that time, she was 18. There were also several videos where Malia can be seen at the concert dancing and twerking. And just one month after that, in August of 2016, Malia attended a party in West Tisbury, Massachusetts that the police ended up breaking up after a noise complaint. Apparently, when the officers arrived, Malia was quickly escorted out by her Secret Service team, and she was taken back to the Obama family's summer residence. It doesn't end there because Malia worked really hard that year to earn her party girl reputation. On September 4th, 2016, Malia was photographed at a Pennsylvania frat house party, sitting in front of a table with a huge bong and wearing a shirt with the words, smoking kills. After these photographs were released, there were a period of three months where Malia was completely under the radar. She was not spotted at any more parties, but she was also not seen at any public events with her parents, unlike Sasha. Malia was not there when the Obamas served dinner to the veterans on Thanksgiving, and she was also absent on the Christmas tree lighting of December 1st. Rumors started spreading that she was actually in rehab during that time, but nobody ever confirmed or denied that. On the flip side, Sasha's 2016 looked a lot different. The youngest Obama sister was able to stay away from trouble, unlike Malia. In May 2017, Sasha celebrated a very private Sweet 16 party. She wore a beautiful satin red dress designed by Jill Jill Stewart. Her parents attended, and some pictures of the event leaked on social media, but the Instagram page that shared the picture was quickly taken down. Meanwhile, with 2017 came more opportunities for Malia to party hard at Lollapalooza again. 
In August that year, things got out of control and apparently Malia rocked so hard that she had to be taken out of the concert in a golf cart, looking a bit dazed. She was also seen dancing wildly and rolling on the floor with her friends. Maybe she was just making the most of her summer, because a few weeks after, she started her classes at Harvard. By the end of the month, Malia had already moved into her Harvard University dorm, but that didn't mean that she would stay out of trouble. On August 27th, Malia made headlines again for snapping at an elderly woman who wanted to take a picture of her. The first time Malia declined politely and entered a restaurant, but the woman waited for her outside. When Malia came out of the restaurant, the lady insisted again and actually took a picture of her, to which Malia responded by saying, quote, Are you going to take it in my face like an animal in a cage? By this point in 2017, Malia was no longer surrounded by Secret Service agents who would help her keep curious people away from her. The Obamas were out of the White House. 2017 was also the year that Malia was spotted for the first time with her current boyfriend, Rory Farquharson, during a Harvard-Yale football pregame. People also criticized her then because she had resumed her habit of smoking cigarettes. At this point, people were already used to Malia being on the news. Social media users kept defending her by saying that she was only doing what other teenagers do and that she didn't deserve the public judgment she was subjected to just because she was a public figure. Other people also questioned what kind of friends were surrounding Malia, because they were constantly leaking her personal life on social media and to the press. Even Ivanka Trump, who is also used to being in the public eye, encouraged people to respect Malia's right to privacy. On February 17, 2019, more pictures of Malia Obama were leaked on social media, this time with the caption, Underage Malia Obama, 20, spotted sipping on a $20 bottle of rosé. Malia was with a few friends at a pool party in Miami and was only a few months away from turning 21, the legal age to buy alcohol in the U.S. Less than a day after, on February 18th, news leaked that Malia supposedly had a secret Facebook account where she posted how much she disliked Donald Trump. When this news became known after the Rosé controversy, people on the internet had enough and they jumped to defend Malia on Twitter. Some of her supporters said things like, quote, Malia Obama drinks wine and hates Donald Trump. She is no different than any of us going through this hell. But she does need better friends. All they do is snitch. And also, quote, why is everyone so obsessed with Malia Obama acting her age? The latest controversy involving Malia happened in January 2020, when Malia was attending a show where comedian Pete Holmes was on stage. Holmes was doing his act and kept hearing two young women whispering in the front line. He repeatedly asked them to stop, but they didn't. So he finally told them to, quote, shut the f up. Then he covered them with a stage curtain and tried to make the rest of his audience laugh, but they didn't. Later on, he found out that nobody laughed because one of the women he yelled at was Malia. Pete Holmes tells this story while he's on the Conan O'Brien show, and he goes on to say, quote, I should have been shot. Meanwhile, Sasha's 19 now and no stranger to controversy herself. On October 25th, 2020, Sasha became a trending topic on Twitter when a TikTok video of her with a friend became viral. Sasha and her friend are lip syncing and dancing to a song that people qualified as vulgar. The TikTok became controversial because Sasha is mouthing the N-word and the rest of the lyrics have sexual connotations. But as the Obama sisters keep making the headlines, people keep defending their right to be young girls. After the TikTok controversy, comedian Lonnie Love tweeted, quote, Let Sasha Obama be a young girl. She deserves it. And she was not the only one. Most people on Twitter encourage Sasha to have fun and be happy. However, lately, the behavior of both Sasha and Malia has raised no complaints. Both girls have been actively participating in protests and activities related to the Black Lives Matter. Barack appears to be very proud of them, and he said that he and Michelle didn't intervene or push them to act. Quote, Malia and Sasha found their own ways to get involved with the demonstrations and activism that you saw with young people this summer, without any prompting from Michelle and myself, on their own initiative. In addition to that, Malia continues to be photographed kissing and smooching her long-term British boyfriend, Rory Farquharson. But 
it's okay because both Michelle and Barack approve that relationship. And why not? Rory Farquharson is also a Harvard student, a millionaire, and he has a very impressive career in education and sports. He is also said to be related to British royalty. You go, Malia. Probably the only nasty habit the young couples do is smoking, which may be the one thing that Michelle and Barack don't approve of. So apart from the TikTok controversy, 2020 has brought the Obama household relative peace and quiet. In a recent interview with People after the release of his memoirs, A Promised Land, former President Barack said that Malia and Sasha have been with Michelle and him almost continuously from March. He also said that lockdown has been good for both sisters, helping them become great friends and quit being so competitive. So the Obamas have been making the most of the pandemic, and they have taken this time to become closer to each other and regain their intimacy that being in the public eye stole from them over the years. Barack summed it up by saying, quote, to be together as a family and see how they've become these marvelous young women, there's been no greater joy than that. In his most recent interview with InStyle on November 24th, Barack talks about his daughters with typical dad love and admiration. According to him, Sasha is, quote, completely confident about her own take on the world and is not coward or intimidated. As for Malia, Barack said that, quote, she is just buoyant. She's somebody who enjoys people, enjoys life, and enjoys conversation. She's never bored, which is a badass quality that can take you places. We've all seen that Malia loves to have fun. We're glad that Sasha and Malia have grown to be such strong women after some rough patches. After all, they have managed to do everything that teenagers do, like partying and working at a restaurant, while also having brilliant academic careers, Malia at Harvard and Sasha at the University of Michigan. Sasha is still 19 and new to college life, so who knows what could happen? Maybe she'll end up partying just as hard as Malia. Do you think there's more controversy around Malia and Sasha that they have managed to keep a secret? Are we going to see them making headlines again anytime soon? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments down below.